Hey, today I'm going to be taking you through EPA's Emergency Management Response Vehicle. This custom vehicle allows us to take real-time monitoring of air, land and water so we can provide advice back to the community. Right, in this top drawer we have a variety of different sample bottles depending on what we need a screen for. In here we have a, a continued screening tool, so for water and land, we have test strips, etc. that we can apply to the samples. In this third drawer, we have our gas monitoring capability. So we have these on our personnel when we're deploying to an incident site. This can tell us real-time gas impacts in an area. Continuing on, we have our thermal imaging camera. This can help us identify potential spills in a zone. We have our smoke track. We can hook this up to an inlet at the top of the vehicle and drive around an impacted area. And this can tell us the levels of smoke or dust in a community. Lastly, we have our water monitor. We can do spot checks in any kind of marine, creek, river, and it can tell us key data such as the pH, dissolved oxygen in the water column, and salinity. All right, coming around to the back of the vehicle. Um, this vehicle's kitted up with a dual battery setup to power all the kit that you see here. Uh, we have a fridge freezer, so any of the samples that we need to bring back to the lab, we can store safely. We've got a lot, number of the communication modules as well as external batteries that power a lot of the equipment, as well as solar panels if we need to do prolonged deployments. Coming around the side here, we have our DRX dust track. So this unit is another smoke and dust monitor. We can deploy these out into the field for prolonged deployments where we need to monitor the community for smoke impacts. Inside this drawer here, we have an exosond or a couple of them. Uh, this is like the water meter I showed earlier. We can place this in a water body and take real-time data for a prolonged period of time if it needs to be out for a while. Lastly, we have our entire decontamination kit. This car and the people that go out into the field are sometimes exposed to quite high levels of pollution. So we need to make sure that we have the correct kit to decontaminate the equipment and ourselves to make sure that we're safe and we're not bringing back any potential harm. All right, so that was EPA's emergency response vehicle. We're available at a moment's notice to deploy anywhere within Victoria to help support our emergency services partners and provide advice back to the community.